Hello, everyone. My name is Yan Jiaqi, and today we are honored to introduce agricultural products industry and CNH industrial for you. And let's start. Here's the contents of our presentation. And now let me talk about the overview of this industry. Firstly, the definition of agricultural products is all the products obtained from plants, animals, microorganisms, and their products as a result of agricultural activities. And for services, this industry also provides services concerning information, consulting, equipment, and supplies to the agricultural industry. As we can see from this graph of global market size, we can tell that there's a steady historical and projected growth of this industry. And the reason is that surge in population increases the intake of food, which boosts the market growth. And next, let's look at some opportunities available for new entrants. There are four main directions, which are coffee segment, robotics, solar power, and sustainable agriculture. Thank you. Okay, my name is Zoe, and let me introduce the key performance indicators of CNHI to you. First, I'm going to talk about the profit and loss statement and balance sheet. And from this, you can see the net income uh, compared to 2019 from negative to positive and uh, uh, from loss to profit. And from this, you can see the total liabilities and equity. The value of this has maintained a steady growth. And next, the shareholders' key ratios. Uh, the dividend yield of CNHI is 2.11%, and the dividend uh, payout ratio of CNHI is 27.27%, and the specific notes to the accounts. A mixture of favorable volume, price realization, outstanding operational execution, and supportive product mix permit them to increase their industrial activities, growth, and EBIT margins, with agriculture generating a record EBIT margin. But significant challenges persist, and inflation continues to run hot, but they will continue to support their customers, deliver for their shareholders, and progress their strategy initiatives, regardless of the business climate. Then, let me introduce you the risk management and financial outlook of the industry. The SWOT analysis based on the present, and the personal analysis based on the future, show us that the main risks are concentrated at the economic factors, environmental factors, and market competition factors. In order to be risk averse, we need to focus on the identification, evaluation, and prioritization of business risks, followed by a coordinated and balanced application of resources to minimize, monitor, and control the probability or impact of adverse events, or to maximize the realization of opportunities. The framework is extremely clear. After the previous analysis of financial conditions, we try to make a financial outlook for the next 12 months. According to the data comparison of simultaneous segments, it should be relatively stable and show a positive trend. Then, Julia will give you an introduction of the company's response to the digitalization and the pandemic. Okay, so now I will introduce you the CNA Industrial's response to the pandemic and digitalization. The pandemic has caused labor shortages and disruption to the supply chain, while the digitalization as a new trend also brings great challenges to enterprises. To overcome the labor shortages, CNA Industrial came up with a hybrid telecommunity model called Smart Working to ensure their employees can work at home. And for the supply chain, they use the company strategy reporting tool, which can provide all key information on their existing suppliers to ensure their continuous supply chain. Also, CH Industrial is actively responding to the digitalization. They introduced the remote agricultural assistance, they created the digital workplace, and they started their Industry 4.0 program. In this program, they developed several digital tools to monitor their workplace energy consumption. That's all, thank you.